I'm at CNF Precision in Aylesbury today. I'm with Mark Barron, who's the production manager here. We're standing in front of a MAM 72 Matsura 5-axis machining centre. The reason for this interview is that the guys here have just invested in some Open Minds Hypermill software. I want to find out some of the reasons about why you bought the software, what you're doing with it, and what the advantages it's, it's given you now as a company. Here are some of the parts that we're going to be talking about today. There's three components, all very different. And, uh, well, let's start with this one here, because this, this kind of excites me, Mark. Well, tell me firstly why you bought the software, and then we'll talk about the uh, We bought the software. We previously only had a three-axis cam software. Obviously, when we purchased the uh, MAM and the MX, we needed the, the software to enable us to use the machine as it could be used. We looked at many different options and just found that Hypermill was the most user-friendly, easiest to use, and did everything we needed it to do. What, what does user-friendly mean in your eyes? Uh, obviously there's always a learning curve with new software, um, but we found that within no more than a day or so we could create most of the cycles we needed to get our way around the software, and then obviously their support is very good, um, and we just used that initially to get us up to speed, which is where we are now. So let's take a look at part number one, this one here. This looks to me very much like a, there's a lot of turning in this. No, there's no turn in this part. We manufacture this complete from a square billet of uh, material complete on the MAM comes off in two operations uh, and without Hypermill, I'll be honest, most of the tool paths we would not be able to generate without it. So that comes out of one whole billet, correct? Yeah, this is one square billet, uh, eight inch square. Tell me about some of the tool paths and what they've, uh, yeah, what those tool paths are and what, what the process is in the machining is. Yeah, there's obviously a lot of surfacing involved, uh, but the main tool paths would be their arbitrary stock roughing cycles, the helical drilling cycles using the max machining uh, capability within the software. So did you do this job before you had Hypermill? No, we didn't. We wouldn't have been able to do a job like this without the software that we purchased. And with the interpolation there, as I've said already, it looks like the, it's a turning job fundamentally, but it's not for you, it's milling. No. The interpolation, do you, get, do you get a good enough surface finish? Yeah, without a doubt. I'm sure if you see it on there, we, can, we just do a, a lot smaller step downs at a higher speed. And it actually generates pretty much a turn finish for us. How much metal removal is on that part? 70%, 80 Yeah, more than that. I would say you're up at 80, 85% metal removal on this part. And for you to program this on the Hypermill, how long would it take you from start to finish? There's now a, a semi-experienced user. Yeah, we'd be looking at anything from 12 to 15 hours to program a part of this complexity. So it's, it's not bad, really. It's pretty good compared to not being able to do it at all before. Yeah. Then we come on to something a little bit, well, on a, on a prismatic level, how long would it take you to program something like this and do you use the Hypermill max machining strategies? Yeah, I mean a part like this, it would take slightly less than the previous part. There's actually more tool paths on this than what you would generate on the previous one. Um, but that would take something in the region of 10 hours and we do use the max machining for all the roughing cycles on this. We focus a lot on max machining with Open Mind at the moment. In, in your opinion, what does it do and what what has it delivered for you on the manufacturing of components like this? It obviously reduces our roughing cycles a lot. It, gives, it allows us to do full depth roughing cycles with 16 and 20 mm mills mostly. Uh, and it just generally gives us a lot quicker cycle time. A full depth roughing cycle. So are you there saying that you can go from this face down to there in pretty much one? Yeah. Correct. This part in particular has got a 45 mil full depth of cut with about 17 to 20 percent step over at about eight meter feed rates and do all your guys learn and how many guys are learning the hypermill software here is it just you or a colleague no we've got two guys that are skilled on it uh, myself and alistair and we're also training another two guys that are currently doing the training courses over at the Bista site at open mind finally this component here again a lot of metal removal on this what's the what would be the, the programming time for you on this sort of part? And is there anything that stands out on this component that Hypermill has done that you couldn't have done before? Um, not so much on that particular part. I mean, the programming time would be around six or seven hours on that. Um, we could program that on the previous CAD software, but we just find the cycles that are within OpenMind, the roughing especially, is a lot quicker to program. You, you, you did two of these parts before you had Hypermill, so how would you have programmed them then? We'd have programmed them almost as if you were doing it on a three axis. So we'd program each individual face and then program the part, the, the program together. Because you were actually machining them differently as well, I yes, assume, we then, were, weren't correct, you? Yeah. So collectively, the machine tool, the Matsura machine with a five axis capability, 
the programming element from Hypermill. How much has that revolutionised what you're doing here at CNN? Um, a lot, we feel. Uh, obviously, it makes our life a lot easier. We've got a lot more consistency with the parts because we're not multi-opping them. It's coming off complete. And we feel it just gives us a lot better quality of product. Good stuff. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.